Aloha Libras, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji and I'm here doing your monthly reading for July 2018. Yay! Happy summer for those of you in the northern hemisphere, is that what that is? I don't know. Um, for those of you in the U.S. and the lake, um, it is summertime, definitely a summertime here in Hawaii as well. Uh, definitely warmer. It's about 10 degrees warmer typically in the summer here than in the winter and uh, the weather is, I don't know, it's just been sunny so many days in a row. I can't even keep track of like the last time that, that we even had, you know, sort of cloudy days. So um, definitely did have some fog coming in. So lots of people have asked me about the um, volcano that's actually on a different island. It's on the big island and I'm on Maui. And so lots of people have asked me about the volcano and if that impacts us. It does at times with what we call the VOG, which is the volcanic, you know, essentially volcanic fog. Um, so that will sometimes bring um, clouds in. It, it sometimes gives people headaches or different things like that. Um, uh, lower energy, different things like that. But for the most part, we are not impacted by it because we have trade winds that keep that you know away from us so it's not typically something that we have to be concerned about and then of course you know we can't see the volcano or anything from where we're at um, so that's not impacting us but yeah definitely send out blessings love and light to all of those people that are impacted on the island of uh, Hawaii and of uh, the people particularly that have already lost their homes to the volcano and to that volcanic flow you know and that's just something that you know is not 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 a great thing you know that you put all that time and money and energy into a home and then all of a sudden it's just gone right like yeah so I'm sending love and light to them right around that. So what do we got going for you guys this month? Before we get started, I just want to let you know that I'm being guided to raise my angel reading prices and a few prices on my uh, some of my coaching sessions as well. I'm going to provide more information at the end of this video. So if you're wanting to find out a little bit more about how my angel readings work, how my intuition and my connection has gotten clearer and stronger since I've been on Maui, uh, feel free to stay tuned to that video at the very end, right? So I'm gonna give you some information about why I was guided to raise my prices, a little bit more information about how an angel reading works and all of that. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And when I'm done with the reading, keep watching. If you're not interested in that, then don't, right? Like it's simple as that. I'm not forcing, nobody's twisting your arm to watch that portion of the video. If you're interested in that, please continue to watch. If you're not, then don't, right? So follow what feels right and true for you. Today, we're doing something a little bit differently. So I do have your theme for this month. We're gonna be getting some additional guidance from my normal angel deck that I always use. And then our focus this month is on health. So this is physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health, or any of those. And so we're going to be drawing some cards related to that. And then I've got a, a new deck that a friend of mine, Dr. Kara Gubbins, has created. So she is the one, if you've watched any of my Intuitive Tuesdays videos, we did a whole series, 15 videos together, on um, all things around intuition and things that we get asked all of the time. And so she's the other person that is on that um, video series with me. She created this card deck. She's an animal communicator. So this is the Animal Wisdom Circle card deck. So that's sort of the back of the deck. And then you can see the actual cards are this beautiful, rich purple color. Super beautiful. You can find these, if you're interested in this card deck, you can find it on um, Ant animalwisdomcircle.com. I believe she's got a link there. And what I'll be doing with these is just drawing one card for you as an animal totem or an animal mascot for this month. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got for your theme for this month, the seven of earth coming in. Earth cards are all about how you make your money, what you need to do to be here on earth. And this is that seed card. So you've planted the seeds, right? And now you're all in this place about worrying about whether they're gonna grow. You have planted the seeds. There's a temporary pause in the action and what's happening. So the seeds are growing, they're underneath the ground, but you cannot see them. They haven't popped out of the ground yet. 
please don't worry. There's no reason to worry. They are, you've done your work, you've planted the seeds, they are growing, okay? Of course, you may need to nurture them a little bit still, but there's no need to worry. So we've got the unnecessary worry um, aspect of things there. All right, let's see what else we've got coming in for you. I'm feeling guided to grab this. Some of these um, stones, I've had them so long that I don't remember what they are. And this one is interesting because it is definitely, there's some, it's getting lighter um, in some aspects of it. So on the one side, it sort of looks black, and on the other side, it's kind of a, a purple, more of a milky. But I'm feeling guided to hang on to that for you. So I'm not, I'm not even sure what the stone is or why you need that energy, but apparently you do because they're, they're showing me that they're, Bringing the energy through me to you in this in this stone is something that you need. So interesting. All right, so we've got a good balance here. You've got an earth as your theme for the month, and we've got fire, water, and air. So you've got a really beautiful balance this month. This month is going to be a lot more balanced for you than maybe you've experienced in the last few months. The first card that we have is the four of fire. Fire cards are all about passion and action. I also read these as your reputation, how you show up in the world, your fame, what you're known for. The Four of Fire is one that I read as family connection. So it's really about contentment in the family. It's about um, feeling at ease, feeling like things are flowing, right? Happy family life, successfully completing projects, all of that kind of great, beautiful energy is coming in for you this month. And then we've got the king of water. So water is about the depth of emotion. And this is more introspective, if you will. This king of water is about opening your heart, okay? Big, wide open heart is what they want to see for you this month. And it's completely safe for you to do that. You're protected and supported as you open your heart. And this is about um, being more compassionate with other people, but also even can be about opening your checkbook, right? So donating to charities or volunteering at some charities this month is going to be something that's going to be great energy for you. I love that. And then your air card is the four of air. And air cards are all about the head, about the intellect, and this is letting you know this would be a great month to take a vacation. You need some rest. You need that time for a vacation. You need to be able to recharge, right? And you need a little bit more time before you make a decision as well. So there's some decision that's been in your swirl or that's coming, and you need a little bit more time to make that decision. The vacation time will help with that. And then, of course, meditation, getting quiet, is always helpful to, to receive answers about what it is that you need um, guidance around as well. Okay, let's see. I'm going to set this down for a moment while I shuffle. They're not wanting me to let go of it fully yet. Okay, let's see what is coming through for you related to your health. Physical, mental, emotional, and or spiritual. We've got the Unconditional Joy card coming in. I love this. It's come in, like, I think this is maybe the third reading that's come in. It's come in quite a bit. Unconditional joy is really about finding joy in the little things in life. Um, so you don't have to have some big major thing happening to have joy. There's all kinds of little things every single day that can bring you joy and, a, you know, and that, that feeling of um, just happiness, right? It's really, really good. And then we've got the relationship card coming in. Archangel Raphael is helping you with your relationships this month. Um, so they're wanting me to read the prayer, which I need my glasses for. Uh, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for healing and guiding all of my relationships upon the path of love. Ooh, that's really good. I'm going to read that one more time for you. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for healing and guiding all of my relationships upon the path of love. Mmm, so good. I love that. Love it. And then we have the acceptance card coming in. So this is really wanting you to accept what is, right? So say yes 
that's a big improv thing that we do saying yes and then and then what so yes and it um, so you say yes and now what is it that you are meant to be doing yes this is what's happening and now what am I going to do to shift this how am I going to change this so that's a beautiful energy all right let's see what we've got for your animal totem for this month or your animal guide if you will It is the chimpanzee. I love this. And it very much connects to that first card around the four of fire because it is about your tribe. It is about your family. It is about um, that connection with others, that community, that sense that we are all connected as if we are each a little drop of water in the ocean. And we're all connected, like we cannot be disconnected, right? So the chimpanzee, and I love this picture, isn't that just a great picture? Hopefully you can see it. It's just so cute, the little chimpanzee, just like, you know, oh, it's just so adorable. So I love that energy for you around family for this month. That's going to be really, really awesome. Enjoy the rest of your month. If you're interested in learning more about what my angel readings are about, how my intuition and my connection has gotten clearer and stronger. And stay tuned for the next video. Much love to you and much aloha. Aloha, it's Kim Jalima with Finding Your Fiji again here. And I'm wanting to share with you a little bit more about my price increases and a little bit more about my angel readings and how they work. So I've been guided recently to raise my prices and what my guides were sharing with me around this is it's a reflection of the energy of Maui. Since I've been here, my connection is a lot stronger. And it's also a reflection of all of the personal development work that I've done so that I can be a clearer channel for you. So I, it's been years since I raised my angel reading prices. It's been a long, long time. And so now has been the time where they shared with me that I am meant to do that. So as of July 1st, my prices will be increasing. I will have a coupon code that for those of you that are in my swirl will get to take advantage of the old prices through the end of July. So that is something that I'm also guided to offer to you. So what is an angel reading and what, um, how does this work, this energetically work? What I have discovered in doing these readings is that you're actually getting an energetic tune-up from the angels when we are connecting. So the first thing that we do is we connect on the phone because I record all of the readings. And what we'll do is <clears throat> I will start the recording and then we'll start with a meditation. And that is really just a way for us both to get grounded, for me to connect with your energy, with your angels and guides, and also for you to be in a space of opening so that you can receive the information and the energy healing that is available to you. So beautiful beginning to it. And what's been happening, a little bit kind of crazy, but I channel a non-physical collective called Christine. That's my team of angels and guides, ascended masters. There's all kinds of different um, beings and divine beings and angels and archangels that are on my team. And so uh, the reason, the name that Christine came from is, Christine is the spokesperson of the group. So that's kind of where that name came from, Christine. Similar to Abraham, if you're familiar with Abraham Hicks, they have one name that they go by, but it's a collective. And so what's been happening is in my private readings now, sometimes Christine will come in and actually channel directly to you portions of the meditation. Sometimes it's been the entire meditation. I had that happen with a client that I've been working with for some time. And then other times it's just a portion of it that she'll pop in or they'll pop in and channel for you. So that is also a juicy thing that's been happening within my connections. And then also what happens is I feel in my physical body where you have energetic blocks in your physical body. So they show that to me by allowing me to feel it. So if, if there's an energy block in your neck, like the left side of your neck, I will feel that. 
and then I they let me know what angels are working on that while we're on the call and they work to release that block and to release that stuck energy so that's something that's really um, been pretty cool because a lot of times people don't even mention that they've got some sort of neck pain or back pain and then it comes up as we're doing the meditation I'll feel that area and let them know that it's being worked on and they're like wow they even mentioned that like how did you know that so that's a really beautiful thing as well and then what we do is obviously then you're able to ask questions I, lots of times people submit the questions ahead of time and you can ask questions really about anything the big four things that I always hear from people are about career, finances, health, and relationships. So those are kind of the big four topics. Family also comes into play. If you have children, I often I can share information about your children, things that will help you, right? And so um, the other thing that comes in, because I am a feng shui expert and I draw from that expertise, is lots of times when I'm doing readings, the angels or your guides will suggest a feng shui adjustment as well to help anchor this energy in your space. So you're getting so many different things than just a reading. And what I've heard from clients, um, in fact, one of my clients recently said to me, she's like, oh my gosh, I get so excited. I so look forward to the time with you. And she actually said her soul dances so when it knows that it's going to get to connect with me. And she also feels that sort of calming presence. So typically what people feel after reading and even right as we begin is they'll feel calm. They'll feel peaceful. They'll feel like they have a direction. They'll feel very grounded. So all of those different types of things are added benefits to getting guidance and information that comes in, right? Um, so I also am really good at creating processes and techniques and creating handouts around those. So that's an added benefit that you get when you do a reading with me. If something comes in, I will share, gladly share my handout, my um, technique, my process with you. So you get the benefit of all of that knowledge and wisdom that I have as well. So that's a beautiful thing. You always get the guided meditation, which is at the beginning of the reading, and you get a recording. So the whole recording, including the meditation, the whole reading rather, including the meditation is recorded. So you get a link that you get to download and keep and save and listen to as many times as you want. You get a spirit message. So this is a um, postcard message that they've been guiding me to do at the beginning of the readings. And then you get pictures of the main cards that are coming up, right? And so this is all, all kinds of things that you get within the reading itself. So this is um, readings that are available anywhere from a 15 minute, which is just really a quick like one question, quick simple question all the way to two hour readings are what I offer and to take advantage of the old pricing I've got a couple different coupon codes and the, the information is all going to be below in the description but I'll just share with you so to take advantage of the old pricing for uh, a reading that you're going to actually schedule right now you will use the coupon code freeze as in freeze my prices freeze my prices right or if you are going to want to purchase a gift certificate to use later or to give to someone else later, use the coupon code stock up. It's all one word, stock up. And then I also have some packages that I've been offering of multiple readings. So four, um, I think I have a three, uh, four and a five pack, different packages of readings. And that's something that's going to be discontinued at the end of July. So those ones, you can just go on and purchase the package and there's no coupon code. You just get to go in and purchase it for the old prices. I'm not changing the prices yet on that um, because I'm discontinuing that for the time being is what they're sharing me with around that. So um, the details are all below. All the links are below. Um, if you want a life navigation session at the old price, which is one of my coaching sessions, you can use the coupon code SAVE, S-A-V-E, and that will bring it back down to the price that, um, that I have been charging for those as well. So all kinds of juicy goodness, a little bit more information for you about the angel readings, what they are, how they work, and all of the details and descriptions and links are below. Have an amazing, amazing month. So much love to you.